Hi there, I'm Zachary Trost. Welcome to Outdoor Michigan. Well, I'm humbled and I'm proud. Thanks for your support. We broke 1,000 subscribers today, and as promised, I'm delivering the entire Helgramite video. I'm going to do it commercial free until January 31st, uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's a really funny bit. The fishing adventure you're about to see started after dinner, June 24th, on a river somewhere in the Grand Rapids area. My guides were Pat Witherall and Dave Coster, who had conspired to see if they couldn't get me bitten by one of the critters that we were going to use for bait. These critters are called helgramites. I had never picked one up before, but I could see that I wanted to avoid what looked like huge pinchers on their heads. Now you have a couple helgramites in here? Yeah. Take a look at these. Go ahead and grab one out. Bro. Grab one out? Grab them by the tail. By the tail, sure. By the I'm tail. sure that's get not that, the... Get this one right here. Not that one right there. No, I'm going to get this one. You know, I don't like getting these things. I'd rather do leeches, I think, than these. There you go. There, <laughs> no, I, I've not had a lot of experience with these, but I see the pinchers on them. <laughs> I see the pinchers on them. Uh, Did you feel the pinchers? No, I didn't feel the pinchers, no. but... Dang! Whoa! Now hold it! That's what we were looking for, Fred. You always want to grab him by the head. Thing. Huh? No kidding! That bugger, that bugger drew blood! You always want to grab huh? him by the head. I was! I was close to the head! For crying out loud! I thought I had him like you had him! Jeez, oh Pete, yeah, look at get that! Him, get him right here behind his head. You know. I, so can't get you. I gotta tell you, <laughs> this fishing experience has lost some luster. That baby nailed me. <clears throat> Told you we'd get oh, him, Matt. Hold it. Don't, don't put that back yet. Look at those pinchers. Well, you told me that it would nip you when you were. Over me, I know it for Quit crying out you. loud. These are Helgramites, and I know why they're named that. <laughs> and I'd like to stack a few other names up next to them as well. Good grief. <laughs> Can't quite get over this. I had one get me in the thumb one time. A really big one all the way from here to here, and he closed right up. <laughs> Ripped it right open all the way across, top my thumb. Oh, no, this is, you know, leeches? I have leeches all day long now. I will love leeches from now on. <laughs> that baby hurt. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty. Now, they, these will turn into what's called a Dobson fly. Yeah. I don't like Dobson flies either anymore. Fly oh. around and look just like that, only with the wings. But they don't—they they, they don't have the pinchers, though. Yeah, yeah. the so Dobson that's flies. They look just like this with about a the exact man, same five-inch wingspan. You rotten Big old son wing. of a gun! You. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring a band-aid for him? No, yeah, I don't need a band-aid. But you know, when you said grab him by the head, we're talking by the head, not yeah. behind the head. You grab him too far Jeez. back, and they oh. spin right around and get you. Holy. I told Matt earlier we were going to see if we couldn't get you, get you bit once real quick. Wow. I didn't exactly want you to get blood drawn out of there. <laughs> Just get a little nip, you know. <laughs> wow, that hurts. Okay, now we were talking about these doggone Helgramites that are underneath the, the rocks. Yeah. So how do, you, how do we get these things? How do you get these things? Well, you just go down there and put a nut down and stand on that and... Reach up ahead and flip rocks. And then the current just takes them. Into they're rock. underneath the rock, so they just, when you flip the rock, the current blows them off think? the rock into your nut. And then you take them, grab them by the tail. Yep, grab them by the tail. And put them in your bucket. Throw them in a bucket. Oh, man. Pick it up. No, see we got anything. Crayfish. Wow. <laughs> Look at the crayfish. Nice now, here. now the the, the smallmouth oh, though. Hey, get it, yeah, look at get these in the light here a little bit, boy. Well, this is what the smallmouth are feeding on, eh? Yeah. Oh, and you got a helgramite there. They want them helgramites more than they want them crayfish. Well, they do. Now the crayfish. I have picked up crayfish before, doggone it, man. And I'll get this helgramite for me. See the crayfish. Now this doesn't bother me. I've done this before, but that helgramite caught me by surprise. <laughs> I still have blood around my thumbnail from him. Not so many algamites, but a lot of crayfish. A lot of crayfish, but you don't use these for bait. No, we don't ever. Hmm. Huh. But these crayfish, man, there must be a, a dozen or more of them that came right out of this one little teeny yeah. five. 
foot square spot that we were shaking up. Oh, they must be loaded in this river. We could see crayfish everywhere we looked around the rocks. Crayfish are a favorite food of smallmouth bass, but apparently not the favorite. The Helger mites are particularly good bait for smallmouth, is that it? Excellent. Best thing I ever saw. When we get out there, you'll see the action you're gonna get. I got enough action already. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So the technique is we, we have our, uh, our rods here with a, what is this, number four hook, a bait holder? Yeah. Hook, the bait holder hook has the little, all those little barbs on the shaft that I hope dig right into those Helgramites. Oh, they will. <laughs> Good. Yeah, hold Good. Them and, uh, I, well, we'll find out how to hook the Helgramite, but I'm not going to, you're not going to talk me through it. You're going to do it for me. I, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, this macho stuff is gone right now, I'll tell you. You sure got a red finger. Though. Yes, I do. It's blood all around my... Anyway. The way Pat Witherall hooks a Helgramite looks easy. There's a collar, sort of a shell behind the head. The hook slips under this collar, and the Helgramite can move around like a dog on a leash or like a Rottweiler on a leash. That's it? That's it. Man, he can still bite you right there. Oh, yeah. That's it. Huh. Well, okay, this is where I like them. Right like that, right on the hook. Oh, this water feels great, great, great. On a hot summer day. It was at 90 over here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what we did. At the end of June, we had 90 degree days in Michigan, so shorts and t-shirts were the only practical things to wear. The river was shallow with a firm gravel bottom now, tennis shoes protected our feet, but keep in mind that our legs were bare as we waded out to the edge of the deeper channel, which really wasn't all that deep. I couldn't imagine that anything could bite us other than the Helgramites and crawdads. I mean, the mosquitoes weren't even bothering us. So about right here, and just cast her out. How far? Well, I'll just watch you guys, okay. Right around there or up farther. And you wind it tight. You got one already? Yep. Ha. Well, that must have taken Not a real big one. Must have taken all of 10 seconds. He's just a little wrong. Huh. Yummy. Obviously, the smallmouth bass were gobbling down the Helgramites, just like Pat and Dave told me they would. <laughs> this stretch of river produces some big smallmouth at the right time of year, but even the 12 and 14 inchers are a lot of fun to catch. Yeah, he's not too big. He got my Helgramite too, Fred. He did. Well, just grab another one by the tail. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, the bass leave the Helgramite on the hook, and you can use it again. Sometimes, they manage to swallow it. I could see the Helgramite's antenna in the throat of this one. Oh, you took my Helgramite. I'm not happy with you. Oh, the Helgramite is down in its throat. Yep, I can see the... I can see tentacles or something. Can you see down there, Matt? Can you see a pair of uh, tentacles? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Reach down there and get it back, Fred. Don't let yeah, him. Yeah, reach down there and get that Helgramite back. No, I'm going to let him. He's facing this way. Just let him clamp. Yeah, I know it's facing this way. I uh, just <laughs> let this little guy go. And I go back to Mr. Witherall, sir. Grab one of these snakes by the head. I don't know why we just don't fish with rattlesnakes. I mean, let's get right on to it. Need another algamite, Fred? Yes, I do, Mr. Witherall, sir. You gonna put it on yourself, or do I gotta do like I gotta do with Dave all the time? Mr. Witherall, <laughs> sir, I wanna ask you to do me a favor. Look at that. Look at how you're grabbing that. That's how I grab yeah, it. Yeah, he could get me. Better get up well, I wish he would. This is what I gotta do with him. I gotta do this with Dave and with my little two-year-old. Yeah, do it with you too. And I don't feel bad. 
that's the other problem with them is when you hook them they spit that ink out oh yeah you don't want to get that stuff on you oh i probably have that in my thumb <laughs> <laughs> sent a bunch of ink out right past me man. i developed a tremendous oh. respect for helgramites as a bite and as a bait <laughs> I just said it's bigger than anything you got. <laughs> oh, this one for the net, huh? Dave Coster caught the biggest smallmouth bass of the evening. Oh, yeah. Pat and Dave liked to fish mm -hmm. this spot for fun, so none of us wanted to keep this fish, even though it was legal size. Oh, we'll yeah. catch him again. About 14 and a half, 15 inches if somebody wants them. The bass loved the Helgramites. Our action was constant. They must like the taste because the Helgramites didn't have to be alive. <laughs> this Helgramite has expired, which doesn't bother me at all. And I don't think it'll bother the fish, but I'll find out here oh. <laughs> in just a second. Cast right up there. In fact, I saw one hitting the surface. Now, check this out, Matty. This. Tighten up the line. You can see how the line bows into the water if that starts moving. Like that? Is like that. that. Can't tell if it's moving or if it's on a rock. It's on a rock. No, it's a fish. <laughs> it was. It was. A, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that fish just it was holding steady. I don't care to handle Helgramites, but I've got to admit, they are a great bait. <laughs> Wild and crazy action. Now you see, that was on a dead Helgramite. Which leads me to believe that dead Helgramites are a lot better than live Helgramites. Oh, man. A lot less hazardous. What? You lost your Helgramite again? See, I've caught uh, four... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That was just the fish he had on his line. It just gave me a little start. <laughs> yeah, he just flung my head. I mean, already I've been bitten. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, that'll be interesting viewing. Yes. People love that kind of stuff when you get bitten and bleeding. Yeah, bitten and bleeding. That was the. There was no <laughs> I doubt. You get a real <laughs> kick out of watching a show like that. Did you feel the pinchers? No, I didn't feel the pinchers, no. but. Whoa! <laughs> now hold it! That's what we were looking for, Fred. You always want to grab him by the head. Huh? No kidding! <laughs> that bugger, that bugger drew blood! You always want to grab huh? him by the head. I was! I was close to the head! For crying out loud! There's a little critter with a mean mouth. Never dawned on me that lurking in this shallow water were bigger critters with even meaner mouths. Snapping turtles. Turtle's going after me. Holy cow. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there a turtle here? Yeah. He's attacking. Yeah, he's got there him, is. Man. What is that? That's a snapper. That's a snapper. That's a snapper. Attacking my fish, Dave. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, this is incredible. He's going back and forth after it. Look at that. Where is he? He's, oh, he's right, right, right behind the fish. Look at that. Look at that snapper. Oh. He's after him, boy. Oh, this is so comforting. Here he comes, Fred. Look at this. Look at this. See if you can bring him back. Holy cow. Don't get that fish around me. <laughs> that was incredible. You are my fish. Wow. Man. That's a nice bass, too. Holy cow. Chased that thing back and forth all through. Oh, yeah. Turn again. Boy, his neck was stuck out when he was coming right up here. Yeah, the first time I seen him, he made a couple of grabs at him. Whoa! And here we are, standing bare-legged. Yeah. See ya, bud. 52-year-old man looks like Jiminy Cricket out here with his <laughs> little white legs. Jeez. Well, what was cool. that? Oh. You seem nervous. Every yeah, I, yeah, water, now I did. Now yeah, the splashing here is... Uh, well, that's all Matt needed to hear. He grabbed a stick, touched me when I wasn't looking. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> oh, that's real funny, Matt. Real funny. I could be having the big one, Elizabeth. 
<laughs> I thought it was oh, funny, man. Cow. Well, I'm sitting here thinking, maybe this is a snapping turtle on the end of this. Thank you, Gantt. Thank you, thank you. You know, when I first stepped into this river, I thought of, you know, the river runs through it and movies like that. After the snapping turtle and the Helgram, I'd have thinking nothing but deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! And now there's a, I don't know if it's a fish, I don't know <laughs> whether it's Godzilla or what the heck it is. Oh. See, I'm afraid those, uh, those little old man Jiminy Cricket legs, that, that white meat there looks like veal to those snapping turtles. They'll come right over to it. Pick that right off the bone. They say that leg hadn't had all that much exercise in the past few years. That's gonna be good meat. <laughs> oh man, this is getting spookier by the minute. <laughs> Helgramites, crawdads, snapping turtles, and me. I'm not gonna be out here past dark, guaranteed. I made a lot of jokes about things that could bite as we waded bare-legged in this river, but little did I know that in a few moments the snapping turtle would be back more aggressive than ever. Yeah. Look at that turtle's back. Is, is it? Is it? Are you serious? Yeah. He's right here. Look at him. Oh, yes, yeah. he is. Yeah, he's got him. Oh, he's, he's got, got the fish? He's got him. He's got it. Look, Look at, at that. It. Look at that. Holy Look at cow. It. If you can bring that up here, I'll yeah, grab the turtle good. by the tail. I don't mind doing that. There he is, grab him. Oh, I got the turtle cow. by the tail. Huh? You leave my fish alone. <laughs> okay, I tell you what, I may have gotten nailed by a helgramite, <laughs> but don't call me a sissy. Oh, does he stink? What, the turtle? The turtle. No, that's me. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. No, that turtle does stink. Isn't that something? Hold him right there, Faith. I wish we could get something to, for him to snap onto, because he'd snap right now. If you don't think this is a snapper. He's probably mad. You know, that's a, oh yes. Ooh. You leave my fish alone. Ooh. How about that? Let's see if we can get him up here by the reel. <laughs> huh? Take your finger up there, Fred. Now, it's, it's not turtle season right now. It's, I don't know. boy, this thing does stink. But that's just from the moss on it. Yeah, what do you think, Matt? Huh? Oh, no, I thought that was that was something else. Now, we've really teed this turtle off. Pitch him over there by Dave. I think we got him over by Dave. Oh, you want me to throw him over by Dave? Yeah. Dave was laughing when, when the Helga might <laughs> bet me. <laughs> Weren't you, Dave? Oh, yeah. Well, here, let's see what the turtle will do. Now, we may all have to scatter from here. You rolling, Matt? I'm rolling. Okay, I'm going to set him down here in between all of us. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. He's going to go downstream. Oh, huh? <laughs> well, there he is. He's going, he's going for Matt. Well, don't put him. <laughs> <laughs> don't put him by you, huh? Oh, this Wait, is. He wants to go wine my way, dude. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> he, he'll go right between your legs. I don't don't want worry to go about it. my legs. Huh? Well, where do you want him to go? That way? Towards Dave. I got Dave. Oh, this camera I don't want to drop in here. Yeah, look at that. You know, remember, <laughs> remember Nelson, Nelson Hurst was, uh -huh. was talking about feeling the turtle under the bank? I would just pitch him. I'll keep it just a second. <laughs> feeling the turtle under the bank. See, see how the shell there is, is serrated? What the heck? Oh, that's just my fishing line. <laughs> this everything's scaring me right now. Huh? You still got your fish on? Oh, I still got a fish on! <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Well, this is nuts. Well, anyway, I think we've had enough fun with the turtle. Here, Matt, I'll just let him go and... Huh? There he goes. He's coming in! He's coming in! <laughs> He's going for the deep water! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, hold it! Oh, the, my fish is still on. <laughs> there we go. And we have the fish. Boy, that was, that was some adventure. And you think catching a little bass like this is not an adventure. <laughs> that was a rush.
On this day in June, the smallmouth bass were biting the Helgramites. The Helgramites may have not liked being bitten by the bass, but I didn't care to be bitten by Helgramites either. I would never grab a Helgramite by the tail, but grabbing a snapping turtle by the tail is no problem. Uh, life in the food chain can be dangerous if you don't know which end is which. Again, I'm humbled by your support. Thanks again. Uh, we'll see you outdoors. It's a great place to be. See you next time.